Hickok 45. We're about to do one of those all serious woods walks. Make sure my new Mauser, the, the BYF, the actual German Mauser that I found in Tulsa is worthy, okay? Because even though it served in World War II, hasn't served for me yet. It's gotta prove itself to me. So we're gonna load it up. Got some federal ammo, if you believe that, in eight millimeter Mauser, actually hunting rounds, I guess. But we're gonna use them, okay? And let's put some ears on. And we're gonna be ready here for anything. And so we've got our uh, bayonet mounted because we just don't know what's ahead. Like right there. Here we are again. We have come to a fork in the road. We'll just take it. I don't know for sure who this rifle served, what action it saw, how much action. Probably nothing exactly like the action it's seeing today though. I just hope I don't have to do a bayonet charge. Uh-oh, I see one right there. hiding over there. I'd love to hide behind the trees. Oh. Almost got myself killed with that safety. It's okay. From 1943 to 2015, still serving. Uh -oh. I can see one right there. Got to watch those snipers behind the trees. Dangerous territory. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. For real. I keep a look out up inside the trees too. Uh oh, a grenade, John. Watch out, a grenade. Ugh. Pineapple grenade, the worst kind. Well, if that thing had gone off, we'd be in trouble. Let's just defuse the thing. There we go. Took care of that. <laughs> oh, this old war horse does the job. I'm, I'm happy with it. I think I'm happy. It has proved itself worthy of a woods walk at the compound. A little dangerous, a little dangerous, of course. And uh, I'm sure that uh, Paul Mauser never envisioned this kind of activity. 
nor did the soldiers who carried it, you know, in 43, 44, 45. I don't think too many of them carried it after 45. Anyway, as you can see, life is very good.